Giselle Neiman, how are you, Giselle? I'm good. How are you? I'm well, thank you so much. So we were just chatting. You're from South Africa. I am from South Africa. What part? I'm from Johannesburg. From Johannesburg, born and raised? Uh yes, born and raised in Johannesburg. Do you still live there or are you living here now? Um, I still do live in Johannesburg, but I think we might be moving. Might I be moving. love it here so much. So you we, love it here? Yeah, it's so fun here, but yeah, I am still currently living. How different is it from Johannesburg? It is like a very different, like the vibe, the people, obviously the accent, but still love my home. Still you know, love your home, yeah, yeah. But yeah, this place is really amazing. Nice. Well, I hope to visit uh, uh, South Africa one of these days. It looks it looks beautiful. So when did you realize uh, that you enjoy the arts and have a passion for singing and um, acting and what have you? I realized that I enjoyed the performing arts when I was really, really young. I would always line up my stuffed animals and bears and I would sing to them and perform to them. I just had this passion for it, like this need to do it. It's like such an enjoyable thing. And then like, I would also line up my whole family, put on a full on show for them, singing and everything. Then I'd go straight into acting because me and my aunt, we did like, we acted out the full on Cinderella movie in front of my entire family too. Um, and for modeling, my mom was actually a model as well. So like in 2018, she was um, Mrs. Johannesburg. Ah. Um, so I always loved modeling. I thought it was a really inspiring way to upbring women. I feel like women like get so inspired from it. So I really loved modeling at a really young age. And then my mom thought it would be a cool, cute idea to enter me in my first pageant called Preteen. Well, I, well, I was in the category of Preteen sure. Miss Mazanzi. And there, um, I walked, did my stuff, and I actually ended up winning. And this was a very memorable moment for me because it's the first time I actually won something big with trophies and something. And it was just such an unbelievable moment, but very memorable. Good and for you. So it's in your blood. It's in my basically. blood. <laughs> okay. And, and, and what type of singer would you classify yourself as? What kind of music do you like singing? Well, I definitely love all genres, but um, I feel like I am more of an edgy pop type of singer. So what artists like inspire you? Who would you, who would you like to uh, collaborate with if you had your, um, your your choice? I definitely love to collaborate with Shawn Mendes. I think he's kind of cute. Just a little bit. <laughs> we had, he has, uh, wasn't it his birthday the other day or? Tomorrow. Tomorrow's his birthday. You know how old he's going to be? 20, 27? I already forgot. I forgot. I think it's 27. <laughs> uh, it's 27. How old are you? 30. No way. Yeah, 13. I mean, it's just a little Wait, you say 13? 13, right? <laughs> yeah. I thought you said 30. I you said and I said, no way. I'm like, you are 30. You're just like, you have like that one disease where you age backwards. Do <laughs> you think she said 30? Yeah, I, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I thought you said 30. I'm like, wow. That was, that was 13 makes yeah, more than. Yeah. Very well spoken. 13, very mature. Wow, okay. I'm surprised both by 30 and 13. <laughs> um, what, uh, what, what's the best advice that someone do you think has, has given you? Um, well, a lot of people in my journey have really inspired me, but I feel like the one thing that really hit me deep was when Manny took me to iPop. I was watching the Full Circle Band, um, and the one, um, the one boy in the band named Sean, he actually said, like, because we asked the question, how do you almost, because when, like, they perform, like, there's other artists, so we asked them, how do you perform and not feel so intimidated by the other artists? And his response was he reminds question. himself, yeah, and he and he says that he doesn't do this out of competition with like trying to outdo the other artists. He does it because he loves what he does and he loves to do it. He does it out of love. And that really hit me deep and kind of reminded me as well, like, I'm doing this out of love. Well that's the only reason I think anyone should pursue it really. Is if, is if you, you can't really see yourself doing anything else, you love it. How wh what about school? How are you balancing school? school. And are you homeschooled? Do you go to do you go to a regular public school back home? I'm currently homeschooled now and I think um it is like a lot easier with catching up and stuff because mm -hmm. all my lessons are recorded so I'll easily be able to catch up and stuff. With my social life, a lot of people would think that it kind of brought my social life down. But I kind of feel like I have more people in my life now that I'm traveling the world and stuff. So I, yeah. But is it hard to meet other kids your age because of that or no? Sorry? Is it hard to meet other kids your age? Um, I wouldn't think so. Um, I've met a lot of great kids my age, like 
Because if you were 30, it would be easy. But I'm still tripping when he said that. I'm like, whoa. You look amazing. No, yeah, yeah. I'm still meeting a lot of nice kids. Okay, good, good, good. Very good. Um, and it, it, obviously, you know the ups and downs of this business. It gets uh, a lot of things are out of your control. And um, there's a lot of no's. But at the same time, you're patient and persevere. You do it for the right reasons. Things seem to come uh, through. How do you manage your, your emotions or stay motivated? I definitely stay motivated and like keeping, like I definitely kind of inspire myself to remember how far I've come and how hard I've worked to get where I am today. Okay. And I love like saying affirmations to myself. Good for and you. Another thing is I love listening to music. It like pumps me up a little bit. What, are, what artists are you listening to right now? Um, I love listening to Ariana Grande. Love her style. Her voice is so good. Okay. Very good. Very good. Manny, is there anything you'd like to add? The question She's, you killing ask? She's killing it. She's killing it. I want to ask uh, why you didn't say me when you said who inspires you. She said some word. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Uh, um, yeah, what are, you, um, what are you most excited about for the future? All right, I'll ask. I'll ask since Manny's over there. I want to get my mic. Um, so, Giselle, what, what are you most excited about? What is it ultimately that you would like to, to be doing in the next few years? I am definitely excited. I want to book some, like, get more shows and stuff, but something I really want to do is be an inspiration to the youth mm -hmm. and make, like, everyone know, like, younger kids like my age, to know and to show it, to show that they can achieve anything that they put their mind to. So I'm really hoping that I inspire a lot of kids to go for their dreams. Good for you. How long are you in LA for? Um, I'm in LA for this week, and then I'll be going to New York for a modeling camp, and then I'm coming back to LA. And you're coming back to LA, so you're pretty here this summer. When do you go back to Johannesburg? Um, we go back to Joburg in September. Joburg, is that what the kids call it? Yeah. Joburg. Joburg. How long is that flight from Joburg to LA? So, <laughs> um, straight, it's 16 hours, Oof. but you can do a stopover at Dubai, London. Dubai, London, all right. Well, it was very nice meeting you, Giselle Neiman. It was and so nice meeting you. Very too. mature and uh, good luck. Congratulations <laughs> on everything, sweetie. All right, be on the lookout. Giselle Neiman coming at you. All right, sweetie.